Welcome everyone. It is 3 p.m. and it's time for the server room show. This is episode 84. Today I will continue uh, and finish uh, the part I started in episode 83, uh, talking about Usenet. Uh, I will finish that part. Uh, what what's left from from the notes from Usenet, and uh, then I will continue with the the last piece. Uh, of this recollection of BBS uh, and Usenet and the third part is uh, Minitel which uh, I think many of you will find uh, it interesting I've never actually had uh, a personal experience with Minitel I've, I did see one in person and uh, that's the one and only, only reason why I, why I know about it so I will talk about that uh, when I finished the, the part on uh, on using it. So I left it uh, the last time with uh, uh, talking about the organization. The major uh, set of worldwide news groups is uh, contained within uh, nine hierarchies, uh, eight of which are operated under consensual uh, guidelines that uh, govern their administration and uh, naming the, the, the current big uh, eight are uh, comp, uh, that asterisk, uh, computer related discussions, uh, comp that software, comp that uh, sys that amiga, and so on. Uh, humanities that uh, asterisk uh, holds the fine arts, uh, literature, and uh, philosophy, uh, like humanities that uh, classics and humanities, humanities that design that uh, miscellaneous. Uh, the misc that uh, asterisk. Uh, Held, uh, holds uh, miscellaneous topics like MISC that uh, education, MISC that uh, for sale, and MISC that uh, kids. News that asterisks, uh, uh, discussions and uh, announcements about news, uh, meaning uh, using it, uh, not, not the current events, like news that groups and uh, news that uh, admin. Reg that uh, asterisks uh, are kept for uh, recreation and entertainment. Uh, groups like Reg that music, Reg that uh, arts, that movies, uh, and so on. Uh, side that asterisks uh, holds the group for uh, uh, or conversations for or threads for science-related discussions like uh, side that phys uh, psychology and side uh, that research. Uh, so that uh, asterisk uh, are for social discussions. Uh, soc.college.org, uh, soc.culture.african, uh, talk that uh, asterisks uh, talk about various uh, controversial topics, uh, religion, talk that religion, uh, talk that politics, uh, talk that uh, origins. Uh, that's uh, that's the big uh, the big eight the the big eight uh, uh, groups. Uh, the alt that uh, hierarchy is not uh, subject to the procedures uh, controlling groups in the big eight and uh, it is as a result less uh, less organized groups in the the alt that uh, asterisk hierarchy tend to be uh, more um, specific uh, more specialized uh, or specific for example uh, there might be a news group under the big eight uh, which contains discussions uh, about children's books but a group in the alt hierarchy may be dedicated to one specific author of uh, children's books. Binaries are posted in uh, alt.binaries that uh, asterisk, uh, making it the largest of all uh, the hierarchies. Uh, many other hierarchies of news groups are distributed alongside uh, these uh, uh, regional and uh, language specific hierarchies such as uh, Japan, dot uh, malta dot and uh, n e uh, n dot uh, asterisk uh, serve specific countries and regions such as uh, japan malta and uh, new england the uh, companies and uh, projects uh, administer their own hierarchies to discuss the products and uh, offer community uh, technical support such as the historical uh, gnu uh, dot asterisk hierarchy form uh, the free software foundation uh, Microsoft closed uh, its new server in June uh, of 2010, providing support for its uh, products over forums uh, now. Uh, some users prefer to use the term uh, Usenet to refer only to the big eight uh, hierarchies. Others include uh, alt uh, dot asterisk as well. The more general term uh, net news incorporates the entire uh, medium, 
including uh, private or organizational uh, news uh, systems. Informal uh, sub-hierarchy uh, conventions also exist. Uh, asterisk that uh, answers are typically uh, moderated uh, cross post groups for uh, FAQs and an FAQ would be posted within one group and uh, cross post the uh, asterisk that answers group at the head of uh, the hierarchy uh, seen by some as a refining of information in that news group. Some subgroups are uh, uh, recursive uh, to the point of some uh, silliness in alt that uh, asterisk. The, the binary content uh, Usenet was originally created to distribute uh, text content encoded in the 7 bit uh, ASCII character set. With the help of uh, programs that encode 8 bit values into ASCII, uh, it became practical uh, to distribute uh, binary files as uh, content. Binary posts uh, due to their size and often uh, dubious copyright status uh, were in time restricted to specific news groups, making it easier for administrators to allow or uh, disallow the, the traffic. The oldest widely used encoding method for binary content is uh, UU encode from the Unix UUCP package. In the late 1980s, Usenet articles uh, were often limited to uh, 60,000 characters and uh, larger uh, hard limits uh, exist today. Files are therefore uh, commonly split, uh, split into sections that require reassembly by the, the reader. With the header extensions and, uh, and the base64 and quoted printable uh, MIME encodings, there was a new uh, generation of binary transport. In practice, MIME uh, has seen increased adoption in text messages, but it is avoided for most binary attachments. Uh, some operating systems with the metadata attached to files use specialized encoding formats. For macOS, both uh, bin hex and uh, special uh, MIME types are used. Other lesser known encoding systems that may uh, have been used at one time were BTOA, XX encoding, BO and uh, USR encoding. In an attempt to reduce file transfer times, an informal uh, file encoding known as uh, uh, YENC was introduced in 2001. It uh, achieves about uh, a 30% reduction in data transferred by uh, assuming that uh, most 8-bit characters can safely be transferred across the network without first uh, encoding into the 7-bit uh, ASCII space. The most common method of uploading large binary posts to Usenet is to convert the, the files into RAR archives and create uh, parchives files uh, for them. Uh, parity files are used to recreate missing data when not uh, every part of the file uh, reaches a server. Uh, regarding uh, binary, uh, binary retention time, each new, uh, each new server allocates a certain amount of storage space for uh, content in each news group. When this storage has been filled, uh, each time a new post arrives, old posts are deleted to make room for the new content. If the network bandwidth available to a server is high but the storage allocation is small, it is possible for a huge flo uh, flood of incoming content to overflow the allocation and push out uh, everything that was in the group before, uh, group before it. Uh, the average length of time that posts are able to stay in the server before being deleted is commonly called uh, the retention time. Binary news groups are only able to function uh, reliably if there is uh, sufficient storage allocated to handle the amount of articles being added. Without sufficient retention time, a reader will be unable to download uh, all parts of the binary before it is uh, flushed out of the group's uh, storage allocation. This was at one time how posting undesired content was uh, countered. The news group would be uh, flooded with random garbage uh, data posts of uh, sufficient quantity to push out all the content to be suppressed. This has been uh, compensated by service providers uh, allocating enough storage to retain everything posted each day, including spam uh, floods, without uh, deleting anything. Modern Usenet news servers have enough capacity to archive years of binary content uh, even when flooded with the new data at the maximum uh, daily speed uh, available. Uh, in part because of such long retention times uh, as well as uh, growing internet upload speeds, Usenet is also used by individual users to store uh, backup data. 
while commercial providers offer uh, easier to use online backup services, storing data on uh, Usernet is free of charge, uh, although access to Usernet itself may not be. The method requires the uploader to, to seed control over the distribution of the data. And the files are automatically disseminated to all Usernet providers exchanging data for the, the news group uh, it is posted to. In general, the user must manually select, uh, prepare and upload the data. Uh, the data is typically encrypted because it is available to anyone to download the, the backup files. After the files are uploaded, having multiple copies spread to different geographical regions around the world uh, on different news servers uh, decreases the chances of uh, data loss. Major Usernet service providers have a retention time of more than 12 years. This results in more than uh, 60 petabytes, which is uh, 60,000 terabytes of storage. Uh, when using Usernet for data storage providers that offer longer retention times, uh, the longer retention time uh, are preferred to ensure the data will survive for longer periods of time compared to services with uh, lower retention time. Uh, legal issues. While uh, binary news groups can be used to distribute completely legal user-created works, open source software and uh, public domain material, uh, some binary groups are used to uh, illegally distribute commercial software, copyrighted media and uh, other kind of uh, adult material. ISP operated the Usenet servers frequently block access to uh, all of the alt.binaries.star groups uh, to both reduce uh, network traffic on the avoid, uh, and to avoid related legal issues. Commercial uh, Usenet service providers uh, claim to operate as a telecommunication service and they said that they are not responsible for the users posted for the for the user posted binary content transferred via their uh, equipment. In the United States, Usenet providers can uh, qualify for uh, protection under the DMCA safe hardware regulations, uh, provided that they establish a mechanism to comply uh, with and uh, respond to takedown notices from copyright holders. Removal of uh, copyrighted content from the entire Usenet network is a nearly uh, impossible task due to the uh, rapid propagation between servers and uh, retention done by uh, each server. Petitioning a Usenet provider for removal only removes it from that one server, uh, from that one server's retention cache, but not uh, from any others. It is possible for a special post cancellation message to be distributed to remove it from uh, all servers, but many providers ignore cancel messages by standard policy because they can be easily falsified and uh, submitted by uh, anyone. For a takedown petition to be most effective across the whole network, it would have to be issued to the uh, origin server to which the content has been posted before it has been uh, propagated to other servers. A removal of the content at this early stage would uh, prevent further propagation, but with the modern high-speed links, uh, content can be propagated as fast uh, as it arrives allowing no time for content review and uh, takedown issuance by copyright holders. Establishing the identity of the person uh, posting illegal content is equally difficult due to the trust-based uh, design of the network. Like SMTP uh, email, uh, servers uh, generally assume the header and origin information in a post is true and uh, accurate. Uh, however, as in SMTP email, Usernet post headers are uh, easily falsified so as to obscure the true identity and the location of the message uh, source. In uh, this manner, Usernet is significantly uh, different from modern P2P services. Most P2P uh, users distributing content are typically e immediately uh, identifiable to all other users by their network address, but the origin information uh, for a Usernet posting can be completely obscured and uh, unobtained once it has propagated past the original server. Also, unlike modern uh, peer-to-peer -peer services, the identity of the downloaders is uh, hidden from view. On peer-to-peer uh, peer uh, peer -peer services, as uh, a downloader is identifiable to all, ad all others by their network address, on user and the downloader uh, connects directly to a server and uh, only the server knows the address of uh, who is connecting to it. Some Usenet uh, providers do keep usage logs, but uh, not all make this uh, logged information cautiously uh, available to outside parties, such as the Recording Industry Association of America. 
the existence of uh, anonymizing gateways to Usenet uh, also complicates the tracing of postings uh, through uh, origin. So this was the part I had left on Usenet. So with this, we uh, can conclude uh, the the two parts I did on on, on BBS and uh, this one and a half, uh, let's say one and a half parts, because I'm already 15 minutes into this episode. One and a half parts. Uh, what costed me to uh, to talk about using it and now in the remaining uh, 14 or 15 minutes I can talk about the third piece which is uh, uh, equally important and I think uh, interesting which was uh, which is something called uh, called the Minitel uh, officially uh, Teletel the name Minitel is uh, abbreviated from the French uh, title of uh, uh, I don't even want to pronounce the French name but in English it's uh, interactive medium for digitalized information by telephone so the Minitel was a video text uh, online service uh, accessible through telephone lines and was the world's most successful online service prior to uh, World Wide Web. It was invented in uh, Sesson uh, Savin uh, near uh, Rennes in Brittany, uh, France. The service was rolled out experimentally uh, on the 15th of July 1980. Uh, you see of the dates uh, that uh, all this uh, happened in and around the same time, so 78, 79 and in the, the 1980s when all these uh, mentioned uh, technologies, BBS, Usenet and uh, and now the third piece, uh, Minitel, uh, came to, to existence. So the service was rolled out experimentally on the 15th of July 1980 in Saint-Malo, France and from uh, autumn 1980 in other areas and introduced uh, commercially uh, throughout France in 1982 by uh, the PTT. Uh, from its early days uh, users could make uh, online purchases, uh, make train reservations, uh, check uh, stock prices, uh, search the telephone directory, uh, have a mailbox and uh, chat in a similar way to what is now made uh, possible by the, the World Wide Web. In February uh, 2009, uh, France Telecom indicated that uh, the Minitel network still had uh, uh, 10 million monthly connections. Uh, France Telecom retired the service on the 30th of June uh, 2012. Not so, not so long ago. Okay, now it's nearly 10 years, but yeah, not so long. Uh, the business model was that in 1978, uh, the French PTT organization uh, began designing the Minitel network by distributing terminals uh, that could access a nationwide uh, electronic directory of telephone and address information. Uh, it hoped to increase use of the country's uh, 23 million phone lines and de reduce the costs of printing, uh, printing uh, printed phone books and employing uh, directory assistance personnel. Millions of terminals were given for free uh, officially loans and the uh, property of the PTT to, to telephone subscribers. So the main idea is to not to have uh, to print uh, any phone books anymore, uh, save money that way, and uh, not needing to employ uh, uh, directory assistance personnel, which is uh, very clever. They say uh, have your own terminal and, uh, and check it for yourself. It's, it's very clever indeed. The telephone company emphasized the ease of use. Uh, one observer wrote that uh, the Minitel terminals requires uh, slightly more training than, than a toaster to, to operate. By offering a popular service uh, on simple uh, and, and free or loaned equipment, Minitel achieved a high market penetration and avoided the chicken and the egg problem that prevented the widespread adoption of such uh, systems in the United States. In exchange for the terminal, Minitel owners would only be given the yellow pages, uh, classified commercial listings uh, with advertisements. The white pages were accessible for, uh, for uh, free on Minitel and they could be searched uh, much faster than flipping through a, a paper directory. According to the PTT, during the first eight years of na nationwide operations, 8 billion francs uh, was spent on uh, purchasing uh, terminals. A profit of 3.5 billion francs was made after deduction of payments passed on 
to information providers such as uh, newspapers and an average of 500 million francs annually was saved by printing uh, fewer phone books. Uh, a trial with just 55 residential and business telephone customers using experimental terminals uh, began in St. Malo on uh, the 15th of uh, July 1980, two days after the uh, 13th of July presentation by Minitel to President Valery uh, Guissard. Uh, this uh, expanded the 2,500 customers in other regions in autumn of 1980. Starting in May uh, 1981, 4,000 uh, experimental terminals with a different design were distributed in, uh, in somewhere in France, I cannot pronounce that name, Ilet Villain, and the uh, commercial service using military terminals began in 1982. By early 1986, uh, 1 1.4 million terminals were connected to, to Minitel, uh, with plans to distribute another million by the end of the year. To reduce uh, opposition from newspapers worried about competition from an electronic network, they were allowed to establish the first consumer services on, on Minitel. Liberation uh, offered 24-hour online new news, uh, such as results from events at the 1984 Summer Olymp Olympics in Los Angeles that uh, occurred overnight in France. Providers uh, advertised their own uh, services in their own publications, which helped market the uh, overall Minitel network. Others uh, found the newspapers solely to create uh, uh, Minitel services. By 1988, uh, 3 million terminals were installed with uh, 100,000 new units installed monthly. The telephone directory rec received uh, 23 uh, million calls monthly with uh, 40,000 uh, updates uh, daily. About 6,000 other services were available with uh, 250 added uh, monthly. Uh, France Telecom estimated almost 9 million terminals, including uh, web-enabled personal computers, uh, Windows, and Mac OS, and Linux, had access to the network at the end of uh, 1999, and that it was used by 25 million people uh, of a total population of uh, 60 million. Developed by uh, 10,000 companies in 1996, almost 26,000 different services were uh, available. The telephone company only provided the white pages, uh, otherwise uh, building infrastructure for others to provide services. Uh, Minitel allowed access to uh, various categories, uh, the phone directory, which was free, uh, mail order uh, retail companies, uh, airline or uh, train ticket purchases, information services, uh, databases, uh, message boards, uh, online dating services, uh, even computer games. The development of uh, Minitel spawned uh, the creation of many startup uh, companies in a manner uh, similar to the later dot com bubble of uh, worldwide web related companies. Uh, similarly, many of those small companies uh, floundered because of an overcrowded market or bad business practices, uh, lack of, infra in lack of uh, infrastructure for uh, online retailers. By 1985, uh, games and electronic messaging were uh, 45, uh, 42% of Minitel traffic and uh, messaging was 70% of traffic in 1988. Uh, messenger is uh, Rose's uh, pink messages, uh, adult uh, chat services hosted by uh, operators uh, pretending to be uh, receptive women uh, were, uh, unexpectedly very pop uh, un were unexpectedly very popular embarrassing government officials who preferred to discuss growing business usage of uh, messaging. A widespread uh, street uh, uh, advertising uh, marketed services such as uh, 3615 uh, Jane Kiss, uh, 3615 Penthouse, and uh, men, they and other uh, adult, style, adult sites were also criticized for their uh, possible access by minors. Uh, the government uh, chose not to enact uh, coercive measures however st uh, stating that the regulation of the online activities of children was uh, up to uh, up to parents and not to the government. Uh, the government did however uh, levy a tax on uh, adult uh, online services. Uh, finances, uh, payment methods, uh, payment methods were a credit card for purchases and uh, the standard telephone bill for surfing time, uh, the rates uh, depended on the sites uh, visited. Users first uh, subscribed to individual services, but uh, traffic grew uh, quickly after. 
the telephone company offered the kiosk model uh, named after news agents shops uh, minitel and voice charges appeared combined on the monthly telephone bill uh, with no breakout uh, of fees service providers received uh, two-thirds of the ten dollar and uh, uh, two-thirds of the ten dollar an, an hour that customers typically uh, paid as of 1988 as the telephone company handled bill collection and users who did not pay bills uh, lost telephone service, uh, the customer acquisition cost for service providers well, uh, was low. The single bill encouraged uh, impulse uh, shopping in which uh, users intending uh, to use one service found and used uh, others while browsing. Uh, as users identifies and uh, as users identities and services were anonymous, Minitel uh, use was high at work where companies paid for uh, telephone service. In 1985, France Telecom earned uh, 620 million francs, approximately 70 million uh, US dollars uh, from Minitel. Uh, 2000 private companies earned uh, 289 million francs, about 35 million uh, US dollars uh, during the year. Uh, Liberation earned uh, 2.5 million francs, about uh, 300,000 uh, US dollars from uh, the service in, in uh, September. In the late 1990s, uh, Minitel connections were uh, stable at 100 million a month, plus 150 million online directory inquiries, in spite of growing use of uh, the World Wide Web. In 1998, Minitel generated uh, 832 million uh, euros uh, of revenue, of which uh, 521 million uh, euros was uh, channeled uh, by France Telecom to, to service providers. Uh, Minitel sales in the late 1990s accounted for almost 50% of sales at uh, La Redoute uh, and uh, Three Soucis, uh, France's biggest uh, mail order companies. In 2005, the, to, in 2005, the most popular Minitel application was Teleroot, the online real-time uh, freight exchange, which uh, accounted for nearly, for nearly 8% of uh, Minitel usage. In December 1985, Minitel users made more than 22 million calls, up to 400% in one year. In 1994, they made uh, 1.9 uh, million uh, Minitel calls, uh, used the system for uh, 110 million hours and spent 6.6 .6 billion francs. In 2005, there were uh, 351 million calls for 18.5 uh, million hours of connection, generating 206 million uh, euros of revenue, of which 145 million were uh, redistributed to 2,000 service providers. Uh, these numbers were declining at around 30% per year. There were still 6 million terminals owned by France Telecom, which had been left uh, with their users in order to avoid uh, recycling uh, problems. Uh, the main uses were uh, banking and financial services which benefit from Minitel's security features and access to professional databases. Uh, France Telecom uh, mentions uh, as an example of usage that 12 million updates to personal charter retail uh, healthcare uh, cards were made uh, through uh, Minitel. In 2007, revenue was uh, well over 100 million uh, dollars. In 2010, uh, 30 million uh, euros in revenues, with 85% of those revenues going to to service providers. Uh, I have um, very little left uh, about Minitel. I don't know uh, if it were to, to to discuss. Definitely, the technology was was very short part. I really suggest that you read that remaining little part in the show notes because it's not worth to to dedicate another episode to that and then continue with something else. Uh, the technology part and uh, about the phone book and the uh, Minitel in other countries are are the pieces which are left from from the notes, which didn't make it to the to the to the episode to this episode. It's really an interesting piece of uh, technology and uh, it was a great success for, uh, for France and, and France Telecom. Uh, in the next episode uh, uh, 84, no sorry, episode 85, because this was episode 84, uh, I will continue on with, uh, with another topic. So as always, uh, read the show notes because uh, 
uh, as in this case it contains uh, uh, a little bit more than what I was able to uh, share with you uh, in the form of, uh, of the episode because of the, the time restrictions. Uh, thank you very much and uh, see you next Saturday with episode 85.